Hi children, welcome back. In our previous session, we have discussed about the differences between living things and non-living things. Let me revise once. What we discussed in our previous class? We have discussed that living things breathe. B r e a t h e breathe. Living things need food. N e e d need f o o d food. And living things grow. G r o w grow. But what about the non-living things? Non-living things, they do not breathe, they do not need food, they do not grow. Let us discuss few more points to the children. Next one is living things move. M-O-V-E, move. Birds fly. Yes. And fish swims. Animals and people also will move from one place to another. Yes or no children? And plants also show movement. See the sunflower. It turns towards the sun. But what about this pencil box children? Will it move on its own from place to place? No, it do not. Because it's a non-living thing. So children, living things move and non-living things they do not move. The next one is living things feel. F-E-E-L, feel. So touch your skin children. Can you feel? Is it soft? Yes? And when teacher gives smiley on your hand, you feel happy. Yes or no? And when you feel hungry, you will take food. But what about this teddy bear? If I pinch it, will it cry? No. It does not. It doesn't cry. Yes or no, children? Because it's a non-living thing. So, non-living things, they do not, they do not feel. Yes? And... Uh, Plants also feel. Suppose the touch me not plant is there. If you touch it, it closes its leaves. And uh, animals like hippos and elephants, when they feel hot, they will cool off in water. Okay, understood children? So the next point is, living things have young ones. Having young ones means giving birth to young ones. Okay children? So, people and animals, they give birth to young ones. Like uh, dogs will give birth to puppies. Cats will give birth to kittens. And uh, uh, birds, crocodiles, snakes, they all reproduce by laying eggs. Small babies hatch out of those eggs. And uh, uh, new plants will grow from seeds. Yes or no children? So, but what about this uh, bike? Will it give birth to a small bike, another small bike? No, because it's a non-living thing. So, non-living things, they cannot reproduce. Reproduce means giving birth to young ones, children. R-E-P-R-O-D-U-C-E, -E, reproduce. So, children, these are the differences between the living things and non-living things. I hope everyone understood. Yes? Please go through the video once again and read the textbook also children.